Hey there, welcome to chapter 2 of our After Effects 2023 complete tutorial, brought to you by Sali Tutorials. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of masking. This chapter is all about mastering the art of masking, and to make things clearer, I'll show you two awesome examples. In the first demo, we're going to make some magic happen. Imagine removing the sky and mountains from a video and replacing them with a beautiful sky filled with clouds. Cool, right? And in our second example, we're going to reveal some text using masking techniques. It's like uncovering a secret message within a video. These are some top-notch tricks that will not only help you create stunning effects but also spark some fresh ideas. So, let's get started. Masking Example 1 Let's kick things off with Masking Example 1. Our first adventure takes us into the world of masking within After Effects. For this, we'll need two videos. Just double-click on the project panel to get started. I've got two video clips right here on my computer. And don't worry, I've put the download links in the description. After importing these clips, simply drag and drop the first one onto the timeline. And do the same with the background video. Make sure both videos have the same duration by adjusting the endpoints. If you're looking to fine-tune things, you can head to the Composition menu at the top and choose Composition Settings. Here, you can customize settings like the resolution and frame rate. I'm going with an HD preset at 1920 by 1080 and 25 frames per second. So, now we've got both videos side by side on the timeline. The upper video shows a river, sky, mountains, trees, and even a bit of rain. Let's hide that for now to reveal the background video. A soothing scene of clouds drifting across the sky. Back to our main video, we're ready to mask the sky. Now, we've got tools for this, but I'll use the pen tool because it gives us more control. Select the pen tool, adjust the composition window for a better view, and off we go. You can zoom in and out by scrolling the middle mouse button and move the footage around by clicking and dragging while holding down the spacebar. Now, using the pen tool, create a mask around the sky area. It's as simple as clicking along the outline. Make sure the starting and ending points meet seamlessly. Resize the composition window to see the bigger picture. Here comes the magic part, our mask removed the sky and some surroundings. But we actually want the opposite, keep the surroundings and ditch the sky. To do this, we'll invert the mask. Right click on the mask, head to the mask options, and choose inverted. You can also press Ctrl plus Shift plus I for a shortcut. Now the sky is gone, and the surroundings remain. If you want to tweak the mask, use the selection tool, press V, to adjust the points. You can make things even better by adjusting mask settings. Find the video's properties, go to the mask section, and play around with mask path, feather, opacity, and expansion. This gives your masking a more realistic touch. Voila! Our masking effect is in full swing. The sky and mountains are gone, replaced with a serene cloud-filled backdrop. Check out the preview, it's a glimpse of what's to come. Masking example 2. Now let's move on to masking example 2. We've got another nifty trick up our sleeves. Ever wondered how to reveal text using masking in After Effects? Well, wonder no more. First things first, drag the designated video onto the timeline. It's the same one we used before. 
Time to wield the text tool. Just click on it. Type out your chosen text. And it appears right there. Easy peasy. Now, you might notice that the font size is a bit small. No worries, just head to the character panel and adjust the size and other settings. I'm bumping up the font size to 250 and keeping it classy with a black color. For a touch of style, I'm choosing the Geometra 415 Blocks BT font. But wait, we're not done yet. Let's give our text some life. Head to the text properties. Then go to transform. And you'll find all sorts of nifty options. Here's where the magic happens. Set a keyframe for the text position at the start. Then move the playhead a bit forward and tweak the position for the next keyframe. I'm moving my text up. Creating a cool animation where it looks like the text is rising from the water to the sky. Once that's set, time to bring in the same video again from the project panel. Pop it on the top track. Center your text, and we're almost there. It's masking time once more, my friend. Pick up the pen tool, and just like before, create a mask around the sky area. Either way, I've got some nifty mask tips coming up for you soon. Once the mask is ready, right click, go to mask, and choose inverted to unleash the magic. Now, our text gradually reveals itself against the backdrop. A super attractive effect. If you ask me, feel like tweaking the text position or adding more keyframes? You guessed it, back to text properties. Transform is where the magic happens. For instance, I'm adding two more keyframes to make my text scroll down and vanish. And for that extra touch of finesse, I'm easing the keyframes in and out. Speaking of which, easing in and out can make your animations look smoother and more natural. And there you have it, folks. Our second masking marvel is complete. These two examples are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to mastering masking in After Effects. It's a journey that will take your skills to the next level. So keep exploring, keep experimenting, and most importantly, have fun. Now, if you're hungry for more, I've got some exciting news. In the next chapter, we'll be delving into the realm of professional text animation and even dipping our toes into the world of 3D text animation. So, buckle up and stay with us for even more awesome After Effects adventures. And as always, this is Solly Tutorials, and I'll catch you in the next one.